Hey Mustangs, in this video we're going to go ahead and take a look at enzymes and find out what enzymes are, what they do, and why they're so important that we actually take time to discuss them uh, and their importance. Okay. Um, before we actually get into enzymes though, we have to kind of backtrack a little bit, take you back to 8th grade here, uh, and talk about something called chemical reactions. Okay, so a chemical reaction is a process where you start with one set of chemicals, you're going to break uh, the bonds and form new bonds in these chemicals to form something different than what you started with. Okay, so here is an example of a chemical reaction. So you start with two hydrogen molecules, an oxygen molecule. This arrow means a chemical reaction is occurring. Okay? Um, so whenever you see this arrow, that means bonds are being broken and new bonds are being formed. And then here's the new chemical we're going to wind up with. Okay? So in our chemical reaction, you have starting, bonds are broken, new bonds are formed, and then you have a finishing product here. Okay? So what you start with on the left-hand side here, these are called reactants, and what you finish with is called the products. Okay, I'm going to show you another example real quick. Okay, so in this example here, uh, it's the same thing. We have the reactants that start on the left-hand side here, and then we have the arrow that's saying we're going to break bonds and form new chemical bonds, and then we have our products on the right-hand side. Okay, so here we can see that this is going to be broken off. We're going to break this chemical bond here, and we're going to add it over here to the glucose molecule. So here were our reactants, broke bonds form new bonds. Here's our products. Okay. Now, chemical reactions happen inside of our cells every single day. In fact, inside of each of our cells, there's hundreds to thousands of chemical reactions occurring on a daily basis. Now, if you were to sit there and try and fill them, of course, you're not going to be able to do that, but they are happening inside of each and every one of your cells. Um, many of these chemical reactions uh, are to break apart harmful or toxic substances uh, into uh, less harmful products. Um, others, other chemical reactions are to actually make stuff that your body needs. Um, so all of these chemical reactions are occurring all the time. Um, but one of the interesting things is many of these chemical reactions occur very slowly. Um, so slowly that they wouldn't be practical or possible for life to happen. Um, so I want you to think about that as we move on here. Okay. Now if you didn't have these chemical reactions occurring, your cells would actually die. So these chemical reactions where you're starting with your reactants and um, breaking bonds, forming new bonds to form your products, these are very, very important things. Um, if the chemical reactions do not happen, cells die. And if your cells die, too many of your cells, the organism dies. So chemical reactions are very, very important. Now, in order to get a chemical reaction started, you need to apply energy. Um, so when we apply energy, there's a point where it takes a minimum amount of energy for the chemical reaction to actually occur. Okay, so I'm going to use these markers as an example here. Okay, so I have these markers. If I want to break these markers apart, I have to put in some energy for myself. So I'm pulling, 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 right there, they came apart. Okay. So as I do this, there's a minimum amount of energy that I have to put in in order to break them apart. Okay. Um, same thing happens with chemical reactions. There's a minimum amount of energy that you have to put in to get the chemical reaction started. Okay. Now that the energy that it takes to actually get the chemical reaction started, that's called activation energy. Okay. So the minimum amount of energy that you need to get that chemical reaction going. Now, enzymes are a type of protein that are going to help control or speed up a chemical reaction. And the way they do this is they lower the amount of activation energy required to start a chemical reaction. Okay? So, for example, let's say, and this is just arbitrary here, let's say you need this much energy to get a chemical reaction started. Well, if you have an enzyme, instead of needing this much energy, now you only need this much energy. So you need less energy to get the chemical reaction started, and that actually speeds up the chemical reaction. You could do the chemical reaction faster if you don't need as much energy. Okay. 
Now, we're going to do a quick little graph here that demonstrates that. All right, so let's go ahead and set up our graph here. So I draw my x and y axis. Here on this side, this is going to be the progress of the reaction. So going that way. This way, going up, is going to be the amount of energy. Okay, so first we're going to take a look at um, a chemical reaction occurring um, without an enzyme. Okay, so here we start with energy. We add the energy in. We're adding energy, adding energy. The chemical reaction isn't occurring just yet. Right here we hit the point where that's enough energy to get the chemical reaction started. The chemical reaction occurs and we don't need to apply as much energy and it's done. Okay. Um, so here, this is the amount of energy it took for the chemical reaction to occur without an enzyme. So this is, we could say this is activation energy. Without an enzyme. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and take a look now how it would look on a graph if we added an enzyme to a chemical reaction. Okay. So here, uh, we add energy. We're adding energy, adding energy. Now, this time, right here at this point, with this much energy added, the chemical reaction occurs. The reaction takes place. The reaction finishes up. Okay. So here, this is the activation energy with an enzyme. Okay, so we can see here by looking at this graph that it takes more energy to start a chemical reaction without an enzyme. It takes less energy to start the reaction with an enzyme. So there's actually a difference in the amount of energy needed. That difference makes all the difference in the world uh, for how um, fast you can get a chemical reaction done, how much product you can make, all that stuff. So less energy is a really, really good thing in getting your chemical reaction started. And that's what our enzymes do. Now in the next video, we're going to take a look at exactly how enzymes do that.